The SBase CFG settings, SS Audit and SS Audit R, track spreadsheet updates into a couple of paired log files. Tracking database changes is extremely important if you want to be able to restore up to the moment in the case of a database crash. If you need to restore from a backup, that backup might have occurred last night, and you want to also reload all of the things that have been updated since that backup was last taken. The SS Audit command helps track all of the SBase data submissions from SmartView. It not only tracks what the number was changed to, but also who changed it and what time and date did they change it. It's an excellent protection against data loss, but there's one major problem. It doesn't track every single method of updating data. For instance, it won't track a mass data load through a data load rule, and it won't track things like a Hyperion planning data load. Syntax for the SS audit command is pretty straightforward. You say SS audit, and we'll explain that letter R in just a second. And then if you want it to operate on a specific application, you list the application name. If you want it to operate on a specific database within that application, you list that. And if you want to change the default log path, you can. If you don't specify a log path, it's going to go right into the database directory. Now, some people say, well, what if I want to change the log path, but I don't want to specify a database name or I don't want to specify an application name? There's kind of a quirky syntax thing in SS Audit that if you want to indicate for any argument all, so like all applications and all databases in that application, I can do five X's and then eventually specify the log path. Now, if I don't specify any arguments at all, it's going to turn on logging for every single BSO application on my server, and it's going to put each log file pair in the default log path, which again is the database name directory. The quirkiness is if you put a letter R at the end of SS Audit, it's going to blank out your log files whenever you put the database in and then out of archive mode. Archive mode happens when you use the alter database begin and then end archive commands inside of Maxcell. Syntax, for example, if I wanted to back up the sample basic database, I wanted to put the logs into the C colon backslash audits directory, and I wanted it to blank out that log file pair whenever I ended the archive for sample basic, I would just say SS audit R space sample space basic space C colon backslash audits, and that log path does have to be a fully qualified directory. So when I turn on the logging, I'm creating a pair of files. The first file will be the database name followed by .alg. This file keeps track of who changed something, when did they change it, and also how many rows they updated. The more important file, especially for reloading from backups, is the database name followed by .atx. This file keeps track of what we changed the number to, and it's optimized for reloading into SBase.